Let's go. Welcome to the 245th episode. Dan Geeson plays Mike here. If we last left off, we put in some significant building work, and we're almost done with our spawner here. So what we need to do now is we need to actually just put a top on this, which that's what we're going to do. And then um, we just got to, we need to work the outside issue a little bit. Uh, but I, I would assume that in this episode, we're going to get pretty darn close to being finished, as long as we don't accidentally kill ourselves. Um, let's... Let's go ahead and come up here, and uh, I like building the roof from the top. All right, here we go. All right, let's do this. That roofage. That roofage. Oh, we also need to fix that water. That could be an issue here. I don't because I think we. Whoa. Where is it at? We need to make sure we do that as well. So that'll be the last thing before we cap this thing. Um, you know, it's actually probably faster to do it this way. Before we cap this thing off, we're going to, we got to fix the water issue. God, I just don't want to fall in the, that water because it puts us behind for a few millenniums. And I don't know if you guys, speaking of millenniums, I don't know if you guys were, so I'm sure a lot of you guys were, but I, and that's the thing I don't know about the view, I don't know too much about you guys in the viewing audience. Um, so if you let me know in the comments below, like kind of your... I don't know, generation-esque, but I was going to talk about, um, talk about millennium, when like things turned, and I was in high school in what, 1999, when things turned to 2000, um, it was kind of a big deal, and people, things were like, people, like thought all the computers were going to crash, hold on, let's get out of here, I don't, sometimes, <laughs> what are we even rambling about now, who knows, um, I don't even know where I was going with that, but we need to get out of here, so we don't, fight anything. Shoot, we're trapped here. Just stop. Just calm down. Let's not let's not make this an issue. Let's chop this wall down. Chop this wall down here. Alright, let's go home here for a second. We're gonna catch a quick dirt nap. We're gonna put in a record in. And we're also going to we're also going to get a water bucket and fix that issue. Um, all right, let's do this. So we need a water bucket here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's grab two just in case. And that's it. We should be good with everything else, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and work our way back up here. Oh, we said we are going to throw another CD in here. All right, so anyway, so back to Y2K. So... Those guys that don't know, or maybe you forgot about it, or it's a jaded time in your life. Y2K, I remember where I was at. Um, probably somewhere I shouldn't have been in high school, but regardless, we thought that, uh, you know, when, and I didn't think this because I was, but I, the mass hysteria for the public was thinking that all the banks and computers and stuff were going to break down because they hadn't. Uh, they hadn't, they never thought computers would make it to 2000, whatever it is. There was some sort of glitch in the system that, um, that prevented c most computers from processing that it would go from 1999 to 2000 and it would cause those, all sorts of problems. And so, like, you anticipated kind of this apocalypse moment, like Walking Dead apocalypse. This is even before The Walking Dead. Um, and it just never happened. And it's kind of like, I don't know how that even got brought up, but let's not die here. Um, sometimes the stories we tell don't have a point. <laughs> but uh, I remember thinking that everyone was crazy who thought that because they're just... There we go. Because they're just computers. You know, computers can be refixed. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Sorry. Um, is this high enough? Yeah, it should be fine. I hope. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, sorry. Getting so distracted here. The distraction is real. What made me, th I'm not sure what made me think of Y2K. I think because we talked about doing something for the new millennium, which I think was a, a rap, they used to say that in a lot of rap songs back in that time. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think you know when you started watching this, this series that you're in for a lot of nonsense. And, 
not been totally inaccurate from everything we've done here. I don't, building this roof like that is not very efficient though. I will tell you that much. So let's do it from the ground level. Work your way up. We'll, we'll leave the stairs here though. That'll be our exit. So this will be the last section we build here. Let's go ahead and press forward and uh, do a double jump. Nice. All right. Kids here. Oh, now the question is, if you're a gambling person, which one I, ooh, I think I just gave it away. Um, hypothetically, ga a hypothetical gambler, because I would not encourage that sort of behavior. Um, although, if craps is actually somewhat fun to play, um, somewhat fun actually is really fun. I was gonna say, do you think we have enough brick to uh, to finish this deal? And we do not. So we need to, uh, we have to go back. Kate, we do have to go back. Let's finish this up, though. We're going to be just shy of a baker's dozen. So what, we need about a few more stacks of high society, I'd say. If I were to estimate, we're probably two stacks away from getting this thing fully fully set up so let's go ahead and head back to the manor here real quick and let's do what we do here so ran out, ran out of materials um, which is okay Dang, I want to make that jump just once I want to make that jump where we can land in there okay, so let's go to our storage facility take all the bricks that should be plenty. All right, let's do this. Head back here real quick. Um, I personally, I, you know, when it comes to gambling and, you know, in the U.S., you have to be 18 to gamble. 18 or 21? I don't know. I think 21. You have to be 21 to go to Vegas, right? Yeah, anyways, you have to be 21. So um, when you do turn 21, like for me, like gambling has never been about... Um, I think if you go, when we're speaking of gambling, if you go to the casino, like, with the intention on winning money, or, like, trying to, like, win money, it's, you're setting yourself up for failure. Number one, if you don't have the money to, like, not to throw around, but to use as entertainment. That's how I would, if I were to go to the casino, that's how I would approach gambling. I would just treat it as, like, a night out. So, say you're, you're used to going to, like, dinner and a movie. Instead of going to a dinner and a movie, you take that money and just treat it as if uh, as if you expected to lose it, and uh, just have fun with it. But I think where gambling gets dangerous, and this is not turning into a gam gambleholics or whatever AA for gamblers are, Gamblers Anonymous. Um, I think if you approach it that way, then you'll be fine. But it's the people that approach it as like. They're putting their, they're betting their mortgage on an entire run of Dark Souls 2. I mean, that's what, that's where you, where you get yourself into trouble a little bit. Look at this, it's so dark. So, uh, let's get rid of these guys here, shall we? Um, but, uh, but lottery tickets is the same, th but see, the lottery tickets is, I think you, whatever, you may have to be, depending on what state you live in, you may only have to be 18 to buy lottery tickets, but I almost feel like that's, that's not worse than a casino, but that's not even entertaining, where at least if you go to a casino, you know, you're going to get um, some enjoyment or some social experience from it, whereas like a lottery ticket's like, hey, I'm going to scratch off a ticket, and then you immediately lose, so that's not even fun. There's like, I mean, and then if you do, um, if you do end up, winning you're like oh i just paid five dollars and i just won two dollars but uh, there's uh, you know so some people say well if lotteries are ripoff why do you do it it's not really a ripoff because it's a way to um help uh what do you call it help certain states you know because you think well where you know all the money lottery where does it go and it actually goes into building um manners in different states so like all this this entire manor was publicly funded through lotteries, just so you guys know. Um, what? <laughs> to bring things full circle. Like if we wanted to, uh, is this, is this good enough? 
guess there's only one way to find out. Alright, so this is good. I think uh, our work here is done from that. We need to fix up Walter White's my uh, not mine. Um, Walter White's laboratory. We gotta fix that up. We got to I think we're our work is done up top. Which is good. That's uh, that didn't, really didn't take too long. Um, but now we gotta clean up the bottom. That's this is gonna be a, a little bit of an issue because we're gonna be doing some building some scaffolding and uh, kind of taking it from there, which is okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can make this jump. Oh, can't make it. Or you could uh, you could make your own scratch off tickets. I mean, <laughs> that way you're always a winner. But if you if you made your own lottery tickets. How did we even get on the subject? If you if you made your own lottery tickets, and you like set up a million dollar winner, where does that money come from? I don't even know what life is. What are we doing? All right. Um, so let's go ahead and finish up this if we can. What was? Oh, there's our first champion. There he is. All right. And this looks. And the Minecraft. We have not heard Minecraft music in so long. It's coming in very slowly. That is a perfect time to segue into the next part or our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will return tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. We're going to finish this thing up, and we're going to have a little duel there with Mr. Spider. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.